Welcome back everyone to another importing exporting video from the import export people. My name is Alex Ryan. Today I'm going to welcome you to Hong Kong. So I'll just show you a quick, uh, I'll just show you the outside of my hotel room right here. Uh, this is what Hong Kong looks like if you've never been here before. It's basically sky rises after sky rises and right over there you know there's more sky rises. Um, currently we are in Kowloon Bay which is a huge area and uh, today's video is all about um, doing business with Hong Kong because some people might be going on sites like uh, the HKTDC, the Hong Kong Trade and Development Council uh, .com website, or maybe you're, you're doing business or looking on, on websites like Alibaba, Global Sources and all that, and uh, there's some Hong Kong suppliers. Now, before you get too excited, there's a good chance that anyone based in Hong Kong area, if you look out here, the reason why there's so many high rises is property is very expensive here, very expensive. So there's a very slim chance a factory will be located in Hong Kong. So if you're dealing with any suppliers at all whose office is in Hong Kong or they say the factory is in Hong Kong, there's a good chance that they are a trading company. All right? And what that means is they are middlemen who add anywhere from 20% to 200% to the value of your order. All right, So if you're worried about whether or not you're dealing with a trading person or a trading company, ask them outright. And usually they'll be honest with you if they are a trading company. Um, there's a couple other things you can do. You can actually uh, find it, like actually give them a call. And I would never pay a supplier or manufacturer unless I've called them up on the phone and had a good uh, chat with them. All right, so that's one safeguard you can do. Another one is you can actually use um, Hong Kong, uh, the Google Maps. All right, so it won't work in China, or some websites on and off work in China, but uh, you use the, the Google Maps and look up the address in Hong Kong, and it'll actually show you the street address, and it'll show you whether or not it's an industrial park or industrial or uh, a warehouse rather than like a big block of units or um, you know, a, uh, a busy business street, okay? So that's another thing, another safeguard that you can do to ensure that you're dealing with a factory like a manufacturer as opposed to a trading company, all right? So a bit of, bit of a story. I've been all around China looking at suppliers and manufacturers for the past two weeks. I'm here in Hong Kong. I've got about four or five different meetings here with a couple of sourcing companies, the sourcing agents, and a couple of manufacturers. So the Hong Kong is... Uh, the land of sourcing agents. There's a lot of people here that will help you import from China. Now, the thing is, if, with Hong Kong, the quality, a lot of people here think that the quality in Hong Kong is usually a lot better. That is, um, it works two ways, okay, because the, the truth is, a lot of the stuff they, they say is made in Hong Kong is usually made over the border in Hong Kong, uh, either in Shenzhen or Guangzhou, and then it's shipped um, to the Hong Kong, uh, to this territory. All right, so it's not really from Hong Kong because a lot of people associate Hong Kong with quality and good, uh, you know, good manufacturer. Whereas, a lot of it's made it's because in cheaper in the cheaper areas, the cheaper rural areas are over the border of Hong Kong. All right, so it's still actually made in mainland China. So the quality doesn't necessarily mean um, it's better whether it's made in Hong Kong. All right, but if you are interested in dealing specifically and exclusively with Hong Kong suppliers and manufacturers, head over to the H. KTDC.com website. Okay, they've got heaps of Hong, only Hong Kong based um, uh, produce on there. But, uh, you know, that's one website. Mount Alibaba Global Sources, you can even select Hong Kong in there and say, I only want to deal with Hong Kong suppliers. All right. So, yeah, it's Alex here giving you a quick shout out. Just wanted to give you a quick tip about Hong Kong and just welcome you to this fantastic and very beautiful city. Do make sure that if you are interested in starting your own import export business that you do head over here uh, sometime in the future because it is a wonderful, vibrant city and um, there's a lot of money to be made when it comes to import export, especially from this city. Talk to you soon. To gain access to my free video lessons where you will discover how to find hot products to import that people want to buy, seven easy ways to locate quality factories in China that won't rip you off, my secret negotiation strategies to getting great prices from factories, how to sell your goods once they arrive from China, and much, much more. Just go to www.importexportexpose.com.au. These trainings are normally valued at $500, but yours free when you visit my website now.